Yo, P, roll up that fucking back, little bro. I'm gonna light this split real quick. Oh, oh, boy, 50. Boy, 50. As a matter of fact, just press record on this shit. I'm about to just punch it, bro. I got some shit to say, like. She just wanna see me like right now So that bitch to come over and pipe down Thinking way too much about life now For my mama can't quit, no I can't now She just wanna see me like right now So that bitch to come over and pipe down Thinking way too much about life now For my mama can't quit, no I can't now And this bitch man she always be texting But I just wanna get straight to sexting On the east but I chill in the west end Spent these bands on this fit, yeah I'm flexing And she just wanna know how I'm ballin' Hit the mall, it's just happy, not Jordan Young boy, I'm really important And the dope coming straight up from Oregon And my bitch coming straight out the valley If she tell you she love you, she walky I gotta get to these bands Cause days I had nothing, my pockets were sloppy One of the most underrated dunkers of the decade, first overall pick in 2009, six-time NBA All-Star, former Clipper and current Piston, 2011 Slam Dunk Contest winner. Uh, if you didn't know, it is Blake Griffin. In my opinion, one of the most underrated and most versatile power forward of the decade. Drop a like and let's get into this banger, come on. Blake Griffin, who is 6'9", is a power forward and a center. He's one of the most dominant slashers I've seen of the decade from 2010 to 2020. He's probably one of the most dominant who's not scared of anybody. He literally resembles my interior finisher. He does not run away from anybody. My interior finisher, if I just run into the paint and hold X, I'm gonna dunk on anybody and everybody. Like, if you're in my way, you're getting dunked on. That's exactly, like, how Blake Griffin plays. Like, he just runs into the paint and he's dunking on you if you're in there. But if you're not in there, you're good. Right here, man, y'all can see all of my attributes. I have a 95 standing dunk and an 89 driving dunk and an 84 driving layup. That's literally Blake Griffin. If you could describe his attribute, that's how it would be. Or maybe he'd have a little bit higher driving dunk. But honestly, this is the perfect build for Blake Griffin. He's extremely versatile, just how this build is. Also, Blake Griffin can play the 4 and the 5. Now, for the badges on this build, I only have 14 badges. So, these are the badges that I have upgraded. I only have Lob City, Contact Finisher, Fancy Footwork, and Slithery Finisher. Now, I have on Lob City Finisher so I can catch lobs and Contact Finisher so I can dunk on people. But I have on Fancy Footwork so I can do Euros and stuff. And then, same thing with Slithery Finisher so I can get, like, layups at the uh, goal. But these are the badges that I'm rocking with. I only have these 14 badges on Drive. I don't have any defense or um, any of that stuff, man. So these are the only badges that I have as of right now. If y'all want to see this full build, man, I'll make a build video on that. Just let me know down in the comments down below. But let's get into some gameplay with this Blake Griffin build. Year. I got y'all with this nice little Blake Griffin video at the park. Blake Griffin, you know, I'm a tryhard. Just look at my rep, man. I'm a legend, man. Can't tell me I'm not the biggest sweat you've ever seen in your life. Now, Ferodo, I don't really be playing this game. I play with good people because I'm not bad at the game. I'm good at the game. I just don't choose to play. But if y'all did not know, Blake Griffin is currently injured. He has a left knee injury and he has to get surgery. I wish you the best for a speedy recovery, man. I want to see you back on the court catching bodies. But man, y'all are going to see right here, man. This build is actually insane. I just run into the paint and anything that I catch is going to be a lob and it's going in. On 2K19 last year, slashers were just a whole different vibe from this year. This year, if you just run in the paint and you hold X, you're getting a contact dunk. On 2K20, paint mashing is a serious issue. Y'all see right here, I try to go for the uh, Euro step and it made me shoot the ball as a fade. On 2K20, like Euro animations are very, very messed up. Like whenever you try to do Euro, sometimes it gives you like terrible layup animations. Last year on 2K19 though, Euro steps were so overpowered you could not stop them, which is a really good fix and I like that, but they also kind of ruined paint, paint like slashing this year. Like y'all see right here man i'm just dunking over anybody they made it this year to where like alley-oops are overpowered like last year euro steps were overpowered now it's alley-oops like everybody just throws alley-oops just see right here man i'm gonna pass the ball to my teammate and he's just gonna be throwing me the alley-oops because like you literally cannot stop alleys like i just did a 360 alley-oop and he can't even block it if he wanted to 2k just all around just needs to fix the game and like fix everything in the game like they be messing up stuff od like they messed up red ball blue ball y'all know the red ball blue ball video that i posted where like you could just play like one game and win and you get 50,000 vc that's 2k's fault it's not a glitch it's literally their game that they messed up how do you put an event into a billion dollar game and then you blame the consumer for buying your game and playing an event that y'all put into the game it's not like we glitched the game and made the event do that they literally changed it in their coding site and made it give us 50,000 vc some dev somewhere decided oh it'd be a funny idea to do this right well the game can't just take back to vc like i know people who ran up 1.5 million vc and they lost all of it they're at zero vc and they had like 200,000 vc that they got 
legit not even from that event and it wasn't even a glitch like the least they could do is just give us that like they gave us so many bad games they gave us 2k18 2k19 and now 2k20 like 2k19 was fine but 2k20 is literally 2k19.5 it's almost like the dev team just gave up on this game the only thing they did good is adding in the rep system but even that people just boosted to legend so is that even valid and then also y'all broke slashers like last year slashers were good but they weren't as good as they are this year this year you just run in the paint and you can get any dunk you want like i was just grinding ref one day and i realized like oh i can make a blake griffin video because blake griffin is a super overpowered and versatile slasher right and my slasher was going crazy i was dunking over everybody and just by looking at the gameplay in the background y'all can just see that i'm dunking over anybody that sits in the paint steps in the paint or anything like it's a gg for you like you're not stopping me but right here man y'all are gonna see like it goes right to him that's the only time they're gonna get the ball because of some weird alley-oop animation like 2k really needs to fix the weird animations because honestly rookie ones get bailed out the most out of anybody if i'm playing a rookie one they're gonna be able to make every single three from like half court like where we inbound the ball they're just hitting that on the regular but the current build that i'm on right now it is super underrated a lot of people use this build though but not a lot of people have it the way that i have it like this build is like a playmaking slasher but i'm 6 10 and i'm a power forward if y'all want this build video let me know man because once i max out this build i'm literally gonna be like a point guard i'll be able to run the point guard i'll have like all hall of fame playmaking badges except for dimer that's the only badge that i don't get but i'll be able to have like ankle breaker and all types of crazy badges on this build that's the exact reason why i made this build because how versatile it is also if y'all want to see me do like zion or um Giannis onto the kumba for a video just let me know down in the comments down below just comment down below zion and Giannis, and i got y'all with that video man this build is super versatile y'all also let me know down in the comments down below who else would be a really good video and entertaining video i could do over with this build i'm a 610 power forward so if y'all know any nba players who are like a power forward and they're like 6 8 to like 6 11 or 7 foot let me know down in the comments down below and i got y'all if y'all want to see like anthony davis oh i could do anthony davis i might do that y'all let me know down in the comments down below what y'all want and i got y'all with all those but this blake griffin build is actually insane i pray for him to get a speedy recovery hey man this is gonna wrap up the blake griffin video if you enjoyed this video make sure to comment down below your favorite part of the video comment down below like the timestamp or what happened in that part but also man make sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe if you are new and turn on all notifications man also pray for blake griffin to have a speedy recovery we want to see him back healthy and better than ever but it's been your boy you you peace man i was just down bad last week now they won't come around remember rolling spits of sour we were smoking pounds on the app that shit was daily shit got lonely now it's funny how they talk about me when i'm not around see on my back it is a target gotta watch my life thinking twice when i step out the crib they want my life remember why we died